Hello, people of YouTube. We are now recording. Um, hopefully, my fraps doesn't act up this game, but it seems that we have a very, very well organized team. I have not seen my partner's army because I recently, like one game ago, just added him as a friend. Um, we're playing against two very well matched team mates, and we're going to play in these. This woods map, either this one or uh, where is it? Tohoku Val or Forest. I'm sorry for pronouncing that wrong. I just I'm not positive. Um, yeah, let's play this. Okay, I'm gonna start off. And since my bets are fully uh, upgraded now, I'm gonna go ahead and. Upgrade this guy real quick because I forgot about him. And where is he? Right there. I'm going to put in reload speed. Okay. Um, Let's go back to here because this guy has to leave soon. And I'm going to put Bunzer on Ultra. So let's go ahead and let's put. my very ranked up vets in which is going to be a little bit overkill just using them. I'm going to put in Yugatai and some toaster rifle. Now I'm going to throw in three of these guys just fairly well and I'm also going to put in one Kisho Ninja and I'm going to put in Crazy. Uh, one of these guys. Let's see. What else can I spare? Fathom to pronounce. To put. It. Um. Let's take off key buildings. Move unit size to medium. Replace this map. And we will start. Oh, nope, I have to modify my retainers. Almost forgot about that. Let's go ahead and, uh, I'm not really using Shogun units, so I'm going to throw in, um, Mononi Spy. Let's put in that guy. Spoiled rations. And Sniper Breach Loading Rifle. That way I can, I have that little advantage over reload. Why does this keep replacing to Akai? That should not be happening. Put it there. I'm going to start. Um, don't know why this guy is telling me to hurry. He was not readying up. Now we're just waiting on Adam. There we go. This is a pretty decent ranked up army. It's a little bit of overkill seeing that I have all three of my foreign veterans and two Imperial Guard Infantry, er, Guard Infantry, I think it is. Um, they are the most elite units that you can really get on this game, from what I can tell. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and state this again. I have stated this in few other videos if my subscribers you guys seeing that right now I only have two uh, if you guys want me to play something else be it Minecraft be it uh, Arma 2 different Shogun 2 stuff you guys leave it in the comments or send me a message do what you guys have to do and hopefully I can do what I have to do to make you guys happy um, deployment is almost coming up. As you can see, we're on the top. So what I'm really gonna do is 
I've done this in a pre a couple of previous videos. I'm actually I'm gonna save my Yukatai, so to speak, and I'm gonna throw them up around the side of his men, kind of. Either that in the or in those woods that are right above his deployment. And I know you guys can't see my mouse. But uh you will be able to uh see me hopefully defeat these people. Alright, he can see my units. That's bad for me. So I'm gonna hurry up and throw all my units in the woods. Oh. Now we're just waiting on the game to load. Uh But I'm gonna go ahead and say this again. Once I get a uh HD PVR or a Roxio game capture, I will start putting stuff on my channel that has to do with my consoles. I have an Xbox and a PS3. Eventually I'll either get a GameCube or a Wii and some of the older systems so I can play some of the older games that are better. But until then, not so much. <sighs> Here we go, I'm gonna throw all my units in the woods. If it will allow me all these guys are right there. No, now they're not hitting. Now they are. So let's move my Yugatai, like I said, on a defensive position. I'm actually going to save them, seeing that they have that longer range. I'm going to throw them in this forest right here. I'm going to throw Keisha Ninja up right here. So hopefully I can take out that artillery as long as he doesn't see my men. Um, I'm gonna put... I have played this tactic before. I hide all my men in these woods so that they aren't seen and hit by that artillery as easily. I'm gonna put both of these guys in a strong position. Right there. I'm going to put these toasters right there. The hidden? No. Okay, so I'm going to put these toasters up here so that they won't be hidden immediately. I'm going to throw these guys right there. I'm going to put my infantry day marine alongside them right there. So they have that little bit of strong position. Throw on my cab. Over here in these woods. What does he have? Maybe a spear levy over there. I'm gonna throw my spear levies right along there, and I'm gonna put my United States Marines right there. I'm gonna use my general with my cab. He is correct. That is a lot of cav. But cavalry is not very good at uh, distance, especially charging into uh, units with rifles. So I'm going to move these guys up into these woods right there. Okay, he has his artillery on number. Good thing they can't fire yet. Move these guys up, and once they get about right here, I'm gonna activate stealth, and um, and then I'm gonna start bombarding them, and then I'm gonna move my men back. I'm pretty sure these guys can fire while hitting. Yes. Okay. That's good. That is a lot of cap. That's one mistake this guy should not have done. Especially with this Saber Cav. Saber Cav is not good. They will route in pretty much immediately once they start getting hit. 
And that's something he definitely should not have brought. I'm gonna stuff these guys. Move them up. Watch out, move them. Right there, so I can start throwing bombs on this artillery. Before I try getting off real shells on my man. I don't think it is yet. No, it's not. So none of my men are in range. And I think he's about to... Yeah, he's charging his cab over this way. I think I have this Yugi tie up right there. I'm going to group these guys. I'll move them. Right there. No, I'm not. Keep them right there. These guys should now start hitting me. Start hitting these guys. As you see, they're still hitting and they're throwing these bombs. Which are, it's not great because it's hitting these trees, but it's still one volley just killed a bunch of his men. And they're, they're already about to route, which is good for me. Mm. Mm. I killed two of his Armstrong guns. So this last volley should kill them. Drop them. Which it did. I'm gonna halt them. Keep them hidden. Move them up behind his general, or I may just come hit this guy's general. Or not this guy's general, this guy's artillery, but I'm afraid of that cavalry. Hopefully, I can move back without getting seen. Okay, so this guy's not focused on these guys. And my Yugatai have that long range, so they will start getting volleys off shortly. I'm gonna move these guys over here. I'm definitely gonna try to hit his uh, artillery. Send this guy message. Okay, now I can group pretty much all my units just the way they are, just like that. Except for this cab, I don't want this cab to move. These guys will be grouped like so. And I will advance them to that position. Advance these guys to that position. And I definitely try to get his general out back here, and I'm pretty sure these guys should definitely be walking. Um, no idea if this cat can see my men yet. It looks like they cannot. Okay. Um, um, I don't know. I want to go for his general to just to take out that massive morale encounter but he's got that cab hidden right there so I'm not sure okay feel bad for this guy Definitely gonna move them over here, see if I can hit that artillery. Throw this cab and my general all on guard. Put them like so and move them up right. These guys are hidden. That's a good thing. I have no idea if this guy...